Support for this podcast comes from CDW and Adobe. At CDW, we get your organization can be demanding. We know you're in there. I know. The marketing team's outside my office. They want their Adobe update now. With Adobe's value incentive plan, deployed by the experts at CDW, you can quickly and easily manage software subscriptions for the whole team. On Acrobat and Creative Cloud? All included. Cool. Guys, I'm coming out. Don't hurt me. For a satisfied digital workforce, you need Adobe and IT orchestration by CDW. People who get it. Find out more at cdw.com slash adobe. Introducing Built to Last, a new podcast by American Express. I'm Elaine Welteroff, and I'm excited to host the debut season where we will be deep diving into the stories, history, and continued legacy of small businesses that shape American culture. Through these important conversations, we'll hear how the Black business leaders of our past have inspired today's Black-owned small businesses and communities. Join us for the debut season of Built to Last on Spotify, Apple, YouTube, or wherever you get your favorite podcasts. Dan and Rand and Jay will share tales of folks so unaware they lack in grace and sometimes choose the life they choose will make the news. Breaking down each epic fail in Florida, there's half price bail. I'm happy to say they couldn't make this up. Dumb, dumb, so listen dumb, to dumb, our dumb, podcast dumb, jam dumb, with co host Arm and dumb, Dan. Dumb, and Bert, don't be a jerk, dumb, cause when the music gets the funny dumb, hits, dumb, we are gonna dumb, take you down. Stick around. Make a sound, down, it's Dumb People Town. Hey townies, welcome to a Friday episode of Dumb, Dumb People, People Town. Town. Population you. Population Cutner. Rob Cutner, our good friend. How are you, buddy? Uh, it, does anyone like answer that question honestly nowadays? No. Like, you <laughs> can if you, you want. Are, you're I'm welcome always welcome waiting to. for somebody to be Someone like, to fucking be like, great. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good. Um, Rob Kuttner is our is someone that we've collaborated with a bunch. Uh, phenomenal writer. Uh, how many years were you at Conan? Uh, nine. nine. Nine years on Conan. Conan. Yeah. Uh, what did you think about the news that he's going to go to a weekly variety show on HBO Max? I'm... T- totally not shocked at all because um i mean you guys know like it's so much work doing those like oh daily those, show Jesus. those daily shows even the half hour one they slim down to it's yeah. just like the startup work and all that stuff and you know having done so long i you could tell that his love was for like the um remote stuff like yes, the corner without the borders bits. he just has yeah. so much passion for that and they yeah. spent they also spend you don't know this but they spend like just a ton of time prepping and then they spend the the whole time there, like they spend 10 days straight shooting at those things. Yep. Like the people exhausted. And then they spend like another week editing. So doing that on top of doing the show, it's just, it's um, a lot. He wants, and this will be yeah. much closer to that. So it's just cool to hear. From he wants to just focus on what he, what he left to do that much and marshal his energies, you know, like the rest of us. Makes and sense. Well, I, I'm here for it. I mm-hmm. love that, you know, we can relate this show to you having been a writer in a writer's room for a long time, for many times. Remember writer's rooms? Remember we weren't doing it all on Zoom, but the writer's oh, room yeah. was a place where you'd walk in and how many times did you walk in? And you can't just literally walk in at nine in the morning and start writing. It just doesn't work. <laughs> that doesn't work anywhere. Someone's always like, did you see this dumb video? Did you see this thing? And then like, there's a 30 minute riff and they're it like, kinda, all right, we got to get back to work. It kind of <laughs> gooses the engine a little bit. I mean, do, am I wrong to say that? that that happens everywhere <laughs> oh yeah it's totally but you know what's really sad is like i was gonna say there's a snapshot of this time is like the past few years at the conan writers room like the first 30 minutes were like okay so so clause four of the Mueller report seems to indicate that <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> you're like let's get to some comedy for Jeez. crazy all these comedy writers right. became law clerks right yeah. and then there was so and then when serious. cyril came out there was a whole like true crime <laughs> Yeah. Like, oh my God. Trend yeah. in the writers room. We had to talk about various true crime things we'd heard of. Like that, <laughs> that, that gets the juices going, right? You, right. Just, yeah. yeah. There's nothing like getting into a comedy bit by talking about evidence. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, you know what's, you know what, you know what's, you know what's cold? The trail to the punchline. <laughs> 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 I haven't seen that in a while. Someone put that in a file <laughs> in a cabinet. Uh, all right. Well, we've got some dumb stories. Let me ask you this. And we're going to talk to you and we're going to talk about a project. Your you're project right coming now. up. Uh, but, but first things first, let me ask you briefly. Do you think that in this pandemic we've gotten even even dumber is it possible is it possible wow, wow. i mean can you um 
Yeah, in a way, because like, I, I, well, I think the thing is like, you, you can't even see the dumbness because everyone's hiding it behind closed doors. Yeah. <laughs> so now like, the dumbness know. is quarantined even for, although I think it's still out people, there. People, trust me, the good news is the Rob. dumb is still happening. Or it's allowing the people to be like, I'm not staying in. And then they go out and do the dumb stuff. Sure. And then, it's, you know, right. They've, people have found beautiful new ways to be dumb. Like right. There's just a flowering, a renaissance. This is the dumb renaissance. I this think. is the dumb renaissance. And with that, we go to Dan, our, our <laughs> awesome fans send us stories and to the way to do it is to go to uh, on Twitter just send the story uh, to and, and tag Dan Daniel Van Kirk yep. and hashtag Dumb People Town and it. that let us, lets us know in the where, timeline who gave it first that's mm-hmm. right. so we can give you credit okay ready yes, yes. Here's the t- first of all this was sent in by Grony from the ROC now in the falls at Jake Grony, Grony. love this dude sends in a ton thank you Jake <laughs> headline is this pair busted for lewd roadside attraction nope now, does that to me sounds like they set up some sort of like, like literal like roadside attraction, and people were they were busted for how gross so it's it like was. A, so like to be fair, fruit. we did we did cover this on our on our podcast <coughs> podcast as well. I love this story; it's one of my favorites. I was hoping we would do it on this. Well, show. your wish or nightmare came true. <laughs> well, but it's like a a fruit stand on the side of the road, or you're selling worms and selling mm-hmm. bait on yeah. the side of the road. But right, Rob, it, have you ever bought anything from someone on the side of a road? I've always planned to and never have. Right. Like it's like, oh, fresh berries, honey, let's stop. I'm just like, no, we're not going to stop. We <laughs> we're just got stopping. the kids to shut Rob up. And rolls emails. down the window. He's like, do you guys take Apple Pay? Keep going. No, honey. Just <laughs> keep, keep I always going. Can I just Venmo you? Yeah. I always want to know the story of somebody buying flowers uh, at like a stoplight. Like, I that was I, it a moment of convenience? Was yes, it a moment it is, of necessity? That is always convenience. It's Valentine's Day. You're going to a funeral. I mean, something you're just sure. like, all right, I got to grab this. Mm-hmm. Am I going to stop at a florist? And then boom, there's someone with a folding table. On but them. they they tend to. I've heard they tend to cluster at intersections near where infidelity has just occurred. Okay. That's, That's right. right. That's like, a fact. Yeah. We heard mm-hmm. <laughs> that this there's is a happened. motel just down the road. We know that this happened. I mean, to be fair, there is one in LA very close to that topless maids van. Yeah. Like right there on Barham. Which has like, a per- yeah, has a permanent birth there, right? Yes. It just seems 100%. to be like- here's my question about the top list. And we've talked about this before, but like is that is not going they're not gonna do a good job cleaning. They're just not <laughs> that's not what they do. So you're gonna it's like, do you want a hip hotel or do you want a good hotel? That's it. What do you want? Because mm-hmm. if you want cool music you know, in the elevators, you're gonna get like shitty pillows. I have to, I have to disagree because you know it turns out Swiffer actually has an underbra thing. It does. Uh, yeah, Swiffer does an under. <laughs> when they say put it up against the glass, they mean wipe off the fingerprints. <laughs> That's, That's okay. what fair. The Swiffer, on, the Swiffer wet underbra does do really well. And as far as window cleaning, that's your, I mean, that's your sponsor, right? That's your <laughs> Swiffer wet underbra. Yeah. You know it. Yeah. All right, Dan. Here we go. That, as motorists get... drove past them on Saturday, a Florida couple engaged in a series of sex acts on the side of the road, which you would only know if you didn't keep driving. Right. So, There's Rob, you're with series. your family. Rob, Talk about rubbernecking, right? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Folks. Folks. Well, he probably wasn't using a rubber. That was the only no, rubber going on. No, not raw dog necking. Doesn't really yeah, right. <laughs> Wait, but so a series, is it a mini series or is it a full series? Did but, they just get picked up for another season? That's what I want to know. He did the Queen's Gambit of sex moves. <laughs> there <on>. we go. <laughs> But, but they have one of those like old fashioned like like balls county fair wooden stands like, balls like, to like, rook four. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but also the person who knows everything they did, like I said, pulled over. Oh because yeah, because otherwise you would have just seen them doing one thing as you drove by. But if you're the guy being like, all right, first they kissed, <laughs> did, they kissed for a while, and then, then he, he kind of like worked his way around her neck. Then he did a then, Cleveland steamer. Then, then he, he did a rusty around. trombone. Right. Then he did wow. a dirty. I mean, you could Sanchez. tell there was a lot of trust there. Series like, of things. Look, I want to make sure I got all of it down before mm-hmm. I called the cop. Before you called the cops? Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, here's the says, thing. That, the, here's the thing. The next day, the next morning, he came to the stand and he brought her breakfast. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a classy move. And yeah. flowers from the highway. And a warm from the highway. <laughs> uh, the lewd display landed them behind bars. According to a fr- felony criminal complaint, many drivers observed Amber Gormley. That's Amber. a perfect Johnny Carson character. Amber, Amber Gormley. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> She's the Yule Gibbons of drivers. <laughs> Amber Gormley and Sean McClellan, as they trysted adjacent adjacent to the roadway in Largo, a city in the Tampa now, Bay area. I, I want to have a real discussion here. Okay. Let's try and figure out why they didn't do it at either of their houses or a motel that pays by the hour. Like what about the, do you think Rob, that, that exhibitionism played a part in it? 
No, I, I think you guys are, are, are selling them down the river because, uh, look, they're just being careful about COVID. They're doing it outside. <laughs> <Okay>. Sure. <laughs> Open air. Open air sex. sex. But not droplets of, of oxygen. <laughs> right. right. A series of droplets went somewhere else, but not in the yes. They might have even gone out in the air. Ass. <laughs> that way they were both breathing in opposite directions. Yeah, maybe. But here's the other thing. Have you... Okay, outside of the Creed concert I went to, no, I can only think of one other time I saw public sex. Have you guys seen public sex? Jay's story is a phenomenal one on a first so date on in New a York. First date in New York. Oh yeah, that's right. I went okay. down to. Um, it was where Chelsea Piers eventually. No, no, moved. it was below that actually. Okay. So a little further below Chelsea Piers, and the night was beautiful and. I don't know. I was just walking with this woman and we just kept walking and we were having a nice time and we walked out on this pier and I thought, okay, this will be a nice place to sit, look back at the city. Maybe if there's a moment to have a kiss, this is like a good place to do Mm -hmm. it. But like dummy me, we're like out on not like a well-lit pier. We're just way out on this pier. Like any of a number of deals were going Yeah, we could have been killed easily. (laughs) I mean, it was New York in the 90s, early 90s. Early 90s. So I, so I said, uh, and so I look back at the city with her and, and, and then I start to hear this noise that's coming from really, really close by. Well, weren't you like, this is so beautiful. I was like, it's so beautiful. Look, you can see the World Trade Center because it was nice. It's back sure. in the day. World Trade Center, wow. Empire State Building, two guys fucking, Chrysler, <laughs> Chrysler Building, building. <laughs> two guys banging, like like literally like four feet away from us. Really? I'm like, weren't they bothered by us being there? Like, no. Oh my God. That's when you're really in it. That's, when that's when as close as I, I ever have been to the, other people having sex. They were the two real Twin Towers, I Mm-hmm. <laughs> only one was up the other yeah, one was down yeah. but it was pretty it was it was uh it was, it was a, a certain pretty point that's as close as i've ever been to other people having sex it was the weirdest it was a very odd feeling what to time be that in chicago to be outside of chicago's pizza like i watched uh this was like right after a cubs game i watched these two people start fooling around like right like they went and ordered pizza, and then yeah. they went up front and sat there, and then he just started fingering her. Right ah, <laughs> come on. It was man. very consensual. Yeah, Damn. Fine. Nothing wrong with Ch- a little Ch- bit Chicago finger. style, though? Like deep? or It was deep. It was deep. deep. It was deep. It was deep. Rob. Uh, you gotta get, you gotta get, gotta dig deep to find the meat in there. You do, you do. Stop it. You do. You have do. to stop. Stop. So warm. This I'm working took... on the lube and all these things, but I can't quite. Yeah, it. It just, there's a lube, a lube, a lube Maldonado. The lube Maldonado. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Dan's lube Maldonado joke <laughs> deserves an at Sklarbro. <laughs> that or Gino's yeast. Uh, oh, yeah. We can keep going. Oh, yeah. How many fingers did he use? Uno, Uno or Due? Yeah. Hey, wow. folks. <laughs> Not so fresh, brothers. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have a Twitter. We have a Twitter game suddenly. I don't know. Yeah, we, we do. We Anybody? Do. Was, do. When did this become an episode of At Midnight? I, I need it. to know. I know. Um, exactly. Points. You were right, Rob. This is, it says here. This all took place in a quote open area location nice. of a busy area <sighs> where drivers could see them having intercourse. So yeah. They went full. They went full regalia. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. His 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 penis is six feet long. So yeah, technically sure. he was. Just he was, he's he was distance. following distance. Right. He was so right. 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 yeah. he's, he's, like, he's going Fauci, Fauci, yeah. Fauci. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I wonder if they both were wearing masks. One motorist said he observed McClellan performing oral sex on Amber Gormley, mm. as well as certain penetrative acts. Is it certain? Just certain in her certain ear, four, three. I don't know. Okay. I don't even understand. Seven. Following? I think that's seven possible. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that's his act. These are the these are the penetrative <laughs> acts I do. I don't have anything else. I don't, <laughs> I don't do crap. Do the new stuff. Do the new stuff. I don't dance, people. Uh, this next sentence contains something I'm either going to show that I'm ignorant, or you're going to also be as perplexed as I am. Okay. Following the pair's arrest, McCle- McClellan reportedly quote confirmed he had oral sex. And engaged, this is not in quotes, engaged in the alleged digital pursuits. So digits are fingers. So, so, it, so that's so what fingers. they mean. Oh. But I thought, I mean, when I initially read this story, I was like, digital pursuits. So he started a YouTube page. He started a YouTube page. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand. We're on digital TikTok pursuits. now. We're I'm on, on top of her and we're both on TikTok. That's right. And we're done in 60 seconds. Yeah. That's right. Hey, hey, there you go. That's, that's my, just, my favorite Nick Cage movie. According to. Yeah, my favorite <laughs> Nick Cage TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> According to both parties, police reported the sexual activity, quote, was all consensual. Love that we got that information. Solid. Good. We go. That makes uh-huh. me happy. And 
Gormley. Although I wonder if she talked him into it. Gormley and right. McClelland. <laughs> right here. Come on. This do is our life. Me, it's the moment. Do you want me moment. to do it? Do you want, do you me, want to me to be a part of this? Do you want me to do it? Say their names again. Fine. Gormley and McClelland. The new Rizzoli and Isles. Fair enough. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're spotted, cops say, around what time? When do you think this happened? Now, gentlemen, do you remember? We know. So I know. So fuckers. I know. It's a bummer. But it's going to be fun to hear Rob guess. Okay. Rob, what I mean, time do you think? Rob will guess, and then I'll see if I can actually remember. <laughs> Well, wait, because you said people only saw that they slowed down. So right, so it obviously can't it be actually at, at night. night. It, I don't know. What do you right? think? Because then, because you might be able to see it if it's full daylight, right? That's right. You'd be able to see. You'd it's be able night. to see a series of. But you don't think these two know how to find the light? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they've they've lit themselves with their own cell phones. Who knows? Who knows? I mean, they're at an intersection. I don't know. What uh, do you think? What do you think, Rob? Uh, I mean, just based on the way you're, you're telegraphing here, I'm going to guess it's like 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 9 a.m. or noon or something. Oh, wow. <laughs> 9 a.m. or noon. I think it was 2.45, if I can remember correctly. P.m.? That's right. 2.45. Okay. P.m. Okay. P.m. P.m. Yeah, yeah. All right. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we will find out what time of day these two decided <laughs> to roadside If the Sklar's remembered best, or if Rob is ever. <laughs> right on the money. Do, do you, do you want to go with noon or nine? We're going to lock you in. Do you want noon or nine? Uh, noon. Okay, noon. noon. All right. When we come back, we'll talk about Rob's new project, and we'll get the answer as to when they were actually uh, engaging. It's Friday. Pursuits. It's Dumb People Town. Don't go anywhere. Stick around. Make a sound for more Dumb People Town. Guys, I want to talk about uh, the unbelievable cache of products that I got from Hawthorne. They're un, they're amazing. And I have to keep them away from my family. They want to <laughs> steal all of my shampoos. They want to, they love the body wash. They love the, here's why I love soaps. the body wash. How many times you put on body wash? And I can't used a lot stop of body the body wash. wash. Okay. So how many times you put on body wash? Cause we've been to tons of hotels that yeah. have the body wash. And as soon as you put it on your body, it's gone. Mm-hmm. And you're like, wait, that just went away. Yeah. Like that's not doing its job. Yeah. This body wash is Thick, luxurious, fantastic. The shampoo, I love it. The shampoo is, is great. Fantastic. The hand soap, Hinoki, Hinoki wood. wood. I got I once had my so hand. There it, is. it smelled real good. Hinoki wood. I don't know which way you're going with it, but it is. <laughs> so I've got. I tried everything. All right. So I have now. I am now an expert on Hawthorne products. The face lotion is amazing. How how, sh- how beautiful does my skin look? It's the face lotion. The hand lotion is amazing. The sunscreen for your face is incredible. Again, the shampoos are are amazing and unbelievable. The Hinoki wood hand wash. All of their products are made. First of all, they look beautiful. Mm-hmm. So yes. to have all these products out in your house, it looks beautiful. Not that that should matter more than the product itself, because the product itself is incredible. Unreal. I'm literally speaking from the heart here. Hooked. hooked. I'm so hooked on these things. They will be forever what I use. And and it just, it's natural. The right. smells are so good. They have like, you know, scents that you just normally don't see. That you can like mix a, but like they, you take a quiz on the thing. Mm-hmm. It says, "What do you like?" And then they sort of pair you up with the scents that, that, based on the quiz that you take. It's a very thoughtful and organic way to get you into the products that you use. And if you really love what they got going, you can put yourself in for orders where they refresh it like yep. every month. And that's another thing, so you don't have to think about it and go to the store. And I'm going to say this as we head into gift giving season. I mean, that's what I was going to say, Daniel. No, no. I was going to say, I mean, treat yourself, but also this is a great way to treat somebody else for something that they're going to use all the time and love and it's, support our show and support our show and just get yourself great products. Uh, Hawthorne is a fun and convenient way to get super high quality products. Tell them what they got to do. Tailored specifically get special here, get special offers for the holidays going on right now by visiting Hawthorne.co. That's H A W. T-H-O-R-N-E dot C-O to check out their special holiday offers, Hawthorne.co. I'm telling you, uh, we I'm have all stum- in on this We've stuff. stumbled upon something amazing and I love being able to share it with you. Hawthorne.co. Try that Hinoki wood. I'm telling you, it's amazing. Unreal. Hey, Townies, we all want to make healthy choices, but there's barely enough time to chew, let alone cook a healthy meal. Mm-hmm. Making healthy food is easy though with Blendjet. Woo. Your Love blender on the go. Blendjet is the original portable blender that makes it easy to create a fresh meal anytime. Anywhere. Anywhere. I mean, we're all 
keeping ourselves busy. We're on the go. We're finding our way in this new world. Plus, the holidays are already stressful <laughs> enough. So it's a time when you're making enough bad eating choices. Or like <laughs> me, you're just stress eating all the time anyway. Enough with the greasy yes. takeout, guys. But how about this? That. When your bananas that you bought at the store mm-hmm. are turning brown and you're mm-hmm. like, I don't know if I can just eat that as a banana. Blend it, blend up. it, blend it up. up. Blend it up. Blend it up. Make a smoothie. Yeah. Blanchette Fantastic. is so good. It's compact. It's lightweight around the same size as your favorite water bottle. Think about that, guys. Mm-hmm. That's a blender that's that size boom it packs big blender power the new and improved blender jet 2 quietly crushes through ice and frozen fruit make that smoothie you want instead of making the bad choice make that smoothie you want yeah that's great you're always 20 seconds away from a fresh smoothie or protein shake it can even make cocktails now come on come on now the thing i love too is i you know sometimes after like i work out i have this great little like uh powder it's like a little bit of like replenishing powder i put some of that with some blueberries some some, like oat milk ice and and you just throw that in no matter where i am on the go if i'm going straight from one thing to another I have my blend jet and it makes it very easy to blend stay jets. On the number track. one blender uh, brand on Instagram with over 17,000 five star reviews. That's amazing. And mm-hmm. over 1 million happy customers, including the three of us. I love this little blender I love so my much. Blend jet. It's so cool. And, and and we've gotten so much great use out of it. You will too. The great thing is you can try it risk free with blend jets, 30 day money back guarantee i always say this they don't they don't make a guarantee like that because they they're expecting to get it. all of them right. sent to them no, no one ever sends it back because you so love how do you do it dan go to blendjet.com slash gpt right now to save an extra 12 percent. save amazing. an extra 12 percent at blendjet.com slash this is the important part d p t that's blend we jet, sent you b l e n d j e t dot com slash d p t great holiday gift for you check it out Hey, Townies, uh, we're nearing the end of 2020 here, and I'm sure that all of us have felt the effects of it. It's been a rough year in many different ways has for a it, lot Dan? of people. <laughs> yeah. If it hasn't, you and I probably don't share the same feelings. <laughs> it's on things. been rough. Um, but you know what? There's a product uh, called Headspace, and it's actually a service as much of a product. I use it, and I think that it would be something that you could use in your life too. There's, It's great because it goes beyond just like quick fixes. It's a daily meditation. It's a dose of mindfulness in the form of guided meditation. So in good. an easy to use app it's so, called headspace so dan this is the thing that i hear the most because randy and i meditate and i know you do as mm-hmm. well the biggest hurdle is that people say well i don't know how to do it or how do i get into it or right. i i can someone show me what to do this right. app shows you how to do it guides you through it it literally takes your hand or it figuratively takes your hand and walks you through yeah. the the pathway to lower your stress yeah and it's for you on your time there's no way to do it wrong it's all about just doing it and headspace is one of the best places to do that to just work a little bit on your mental health and to feel a little bit better or at least make inroads toward trying to get that way they're one of the only meditation apps advancing the field of mindfulness and meditation through clinically validated research So whatever the situation, Headspace really can help you feel better. If you're overwhelmed, Headspace has a three-minute SOS meditation for you to use right then. If you need some help falling asleep, Headspace has wind-down sessions. Their members swear by. So valuable. And for parents, it's been a very stressful stressful time for parents, Mm -hmm. Headspace even has morning meditations that you can do with your kids. Amazing. Their approach to mindfulness can reduce stress, improve sleep, boost focus, and increase your overall sense of well-being. You know, in my personal time with it, it's it taking that couple of minutes, whether it is on a walk or it's just making like a little space I'm going to sit in my own apartment or going to a park and, you know, socially distance, just kind of trying to clear my thoughts. It's been great for me for that. It's no wonder that it's backed by 25 published studies on its benefits, 600,000 five-star reviews, and over 60 million downloads. Headspace makes it easy for you to build a life-changing meditation practice with mindfulness that works for you on your schedule anytime. It's worth it. Any where guys i'm going to say this to you you trust us at least with your comedy needs Mm -hmm. i'm going to say trust me a little bit with your health needs because you deserve to feel happier and headspace is meditation made simple go to headspace.com slash d p t that's headspace h-e-a-d-s-p-a-c-e dot com slash d p t for a free one month trial you space that out right you can use that month during the holidays that's right with access to headspace full library of meditations for every situation you're going to be covered it's this is the best deal offered right now so head to headspace.com slash d p t today 
As you know, guys, uh, this is the pandemic and mm-hmm. we are at home and we are, I'm doing a ton more walking. I'm walking six to 10 miles a day. It is insane, but I cannot just walk out and listen to the world. I have to be listening <laughs> to something yeah, else. Podcast. Podcast. I listen to music. I talk on the phone to people and, and I get it all out when I'm walking. It is a great way to combine those two things. And I needed great earbuds. I needed ones that actually canceled out all the noise around me. Fit your ears well. Fit my ears. And again, gave me great sound through and through. And I found them. They're my Raycon earbuds. I love them so much. The everyday E25 earbuds. That's the ones we have. They're the best ones yet. Six hours of playtime. See a seamless Bluetooth pairing. I like the fact that if you take one out, it doesn't stop whatever you're listening Picks to. It keeps it going. It keeps it going. More compact design, so it fits you. The nose, noise isolating fit. They're stylish and discreet. No dangling wires or stems. This is, I'm telling you, they were co-founded by Ray J, everybody, and everybody's on board, including me. I'm telling you, you guys have talked to me on the phone on my Raycons. I sound, sound great. great. Yeah. Right? Give them a try. Raycon has a 45-day free return policy, so you can make sure that the pair of wireless earbuds for you. Again, we are operating in a world right now where people are working from home. Right. You're doing your call. Calls from home. You just you don't want to zone out. Like I've been listening to a lot of the Waterfall Two, the, the new My Morning Jacket album on them, oh, and I'm yeah. like, you just go for a walk, put on yeah. that, and hear it perfectly. And hear clear. everything, yeah. every little bit of what they're trying to do. So for limited time, get 15 percent off your order. So at, that's great. It's already not as expensive as other uh, products. It's so reasonably priced, but you get even more at buyraycon.com/dpt. That's b u y r a y c o n.com/dpt for a special 15 percent discount on Raycon on wireless earbuds. Again, per for the holidays, if you're thinking of a good gift to get for someone or get for yourself, make sure to check it out now while the deal is running. Buyraycon.com slash DPT. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Rob Cutner. Well, before we get to Rob Cutner, for Christ's sake. I was going to say Rob Cutner is with us. Before uh, we get we've to got it. a live dumb people town. We've got your, we've got your Christmas we party do. that you're going to, and your Hanukkah party, mm-hmm. and your Kwanzaa party. Mm-hmm. You know, COVID restrictions are getting clamped down, and so you probably won't be able to go out to any party. This is going to be your party on 12-12. So easy to remember. That's a Saturday night, 6.30 West Coast time, 7.30 Mountain, 9.30 There's a pre-show East. show hang, a post-show hang. Those are like shows in their own right. We're going to be doing Malort Nog shots. Oh, God. Dear no, God. I'm not. No, <laughs> I'm not. It's going to be fun. And the guests are the guys from The Dollop, Dave Anthony and Gareth Reynolds. So it's Dollop People Town. And our musical guest is the amazing Mac Lethal. If you don't know who he is, go look him up on YouTube. Some of his videos are unbelievable. He's fantastic. Super fast rapper. Very clever. Very cool. And he's going to be fantastic on the show. So go to eventbrite.com look up uh, live dumping. We're raising or money just, for charity too, where yeah. we, uh, Jeff Tice made an unbelievable poster for the show, which we will sign posters mm-hmm. and send those out to people. Right now, if you go t-shirts. on uh, at least my social media, I think the scholars might be up by now or in the next day or two. You can see all that artwork, 100% of the proceeds from posters or t-shirts go to the charities we are raising money for. Which one, is two for charities. Se- one for elders and one yep. for kids. Yep. It's a hard time for the elderly who can be lonely around this time. And then obviously there's a ton of children and family in need. So yeah, go to Eventbrite, look up Dumb People Town or just go to DanielVanKirk.com um, and you can find the link as there. well as all the other events that Dan's doing, which are, Oh, I mean, live well. pen pals on the 28th and Love then uh, so many other great hangs, but go to Daniel Van Kirk for all that stuff. If you want to hang out with me and do something fun, which is always fun. Rob Kuttner, you've got, you're working on a number of projects right now, but you've got one that we want to get out to people and let people know. And that's why, uh, you know, one look, of the reasons we love we having you on, but please tell people what, what it is and how they can see it. And it's consume it. If you're a part of it, it's amazing. I know. Listen, I did not come onto a podcast to plug, but no, I know. But, but if if, if we have insist. to force you into a penetrative sex act here on just do, <laughs> one of one of several figuratively <laughs> plug it, one of at least seven. Uh-huh. This is your um, form of plug. One of a series. Uh, I have a new. Uh, uh, I'm a uh, late night vet. Uh, mm-hmm. I worked for the Daily Show with John Stewart and Conan, and now uh, I had the opportunity to create my own uh, sort of. It's it's more a. Um, more of a fact, fact-based comedy show in the vein of John Oliver yep. or mm-hmm. Samantha B or one of those, Adam Conover, one of those. Yep. Um, and it's called Gander, and it's on the Tubi channel, which you guys may have seen on your Roku or mm-hmm. your cable dial. But Tubi is kind of like a free Netflix, which gets a lot of a really huge random library of stuff and and some second-run things like they get the the Masked Singer like the week after it airs. Nice. Like that. Anyway, they have our show Gander on it, and it has a a ton of comedians. Um, uh, probably a bunch of people you've had on before, um, Lewis Black and yep. Oscar Nunez and right. some of these kids in the hall and awesome. Uh, 
Erica Rhodes and Rachel Dratch, just just a, a bunch of people. And basically, we we they're fifteen minute episodes, and they all kind of take on some evergreen topics, and not something from like the news, not like politics or parties, right. but. Like one of them is about like how how shitty companies are about like exploiting people mm-hmm. who who's, who've lost loved ones mm-hmm. or who are in mourning, like the way that like you know funeral homes and like hospice fraud and stuff like that. Yeah. And how, also, how we like kind of like um, people exploited nine eleven. So it's one. It's, it's things like that. Who one exploited nine eleven? Rudy what? Giuliani. Who? Um, <laughs> that that's that's phenomenal, and I love it, you always in whatever project you do. You're always like, hey, can I? Can would you guys want to? And you can't even get it out because we're always like, I'll do yes, it. We'll right. do it. <laughs> yes, we'll do it. Yes, we'll do it. Yes, we'll do Gander next season. When you um, get, yeah. Get, 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 get. <laughs> yes, we, yes <laughs> we're gonna do Gander. All right, fine. We will you, do you it. Talked us into it. All right, we'll Rob. Jesus. Uh, but that's but the awesome. one. The one. The last thing i want to say is that, sure. that unlike those shows like we tried to make it like those shows are for, for, for smart people i would say mm-hmm. to some extent mm-hmm. sure like you're kind of already like clued in and it just gives you more information this is for people who are like just like i don't want to say dumb people but dumb people mm-hmm. on brand right yeah so this is for people who are not so into the news and stuff and it's just like full of like really dirty comedy sketches and Great. animations I and songs it. and it's like a small it's like the facts are make the argument all the way through but it's mostly like ridiculous sketches and and insane visuals and stuff like that which so. coming from your brain and your mind <laughs> I, i'm very excited about this show gander on the tubi channel uh you can find it on roku and and whatnot uh is it will it be on any in any other platform or is that the only place to see it it could be if, if some if people people pick up on it and they like it and someone wants to buy it we we can take it to someone else if we want like awesome. that so you know, I love it's just, it. It's cooling its heels right now, but you know, it's open for how many, ep- for how many episodes did you guys do? Six. Great. Six. Great. Awesome. Simple. Love easy. It. Check people it out. Are, people are always looking for something to uh, watch between now and the holidays. This is a fantastic and perfect thing Roll to do. Roll through them. Yep. I love it. Gander on the Tubi network. And um, all right, Dan, what time? Okay. Yeah. yeah let's do having Gormley sex. and McClellan. The new Rosalia Niles. I said it. We're spotted in the acts. Uh, in the series of acts mm-hmm. at digital pursuits 245 I was, uh, yes uh, i remember it i'm is sorry is digital pursuit the the dirty version of trivial pursuit it is so. <laughs> okay i'll play it gormley and mcclelland it's, it's i'll get a piece of, genus of that edition is penis edition well mm-hmm. i mean uh, everybody's trying to get a piece of the pie <laughs> hey uh, i love pie they were charged with lewd and lascivious behavior and mm-hmm. felony behavior. and booked into the dan do you like gym. pumpkin pie are you fucking joking my ass Yes, dude. Pumpkin was pick- eat an entire Could you eat a pumpkin whole pum- pie every year. Every Thanksgiving, you eat yes. a whole pumpkin Dan, pie. Dan, I will break my diet and eat a pumpkin pie with you. Oh, it's the best. It's man. my favorite thing. Though. Let's know. do it next time we uh, Rob, record. are you I'm a in. pumpkin I'm pie fan? Sure. I am. And, and our kids are not so so much that like um, that we have to hoard the, um, the Trader Joe's pumpkin f- puree. It only comes out seasonally. So we like when it comes out. Our kids demand it year round. They, okay. So, <laughs> so like we have a stock of it. So we have pumpkin pie like every two months, I think. Oh, I would lie to them and be like, it only father. comes out now, guys. You're I mean, there's a great, a, great only, goddamn dad. You are a great dad. You you like are the a cream pump- egg. It's like the cream egg. Yeah. Dude, the, the, where you do you go to egg. get your pumpkin pie, Dan? Uh, I go to Rochelle, Illinois, courtesy of Diane Swanson, Connie Doherty, or Rosemary They make it and send it. Yeah. Oh my God. No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. They've never sent it to me. I just go to Bristol Farms and make a good one here. God damn. Just telling you, uh, not for nothing. Yeah, pecan pie is way low down on the on the list for pumpkin me. pie is insane. Banana it's, cream, coconut cream, yes, French silk, yes. I, you, I you guys, I'm, I'm gonna have to, Dan. I'm gonna have to push back because pecan pie is probably my favorite. I love that you love it because you get to have all that, and then I'll have the other kind. <laughs> <laughs> we also divide the kingdom between us. <laughs> we will slice the, the pie. pies. You will this, each get your yeah. slice of the pie. This, this is how the Mongols did it, by the way. <laughs> it's like when somebody tries to tell me that cake's way better. I'm like, I need you to keep liking cake because yes. that's more pie. You for take me. all the cake. Have all that goddamn Wait, can, sheet can cake. I, can I just defend pecan pie for 10 seconds? hundred percent. I like case. it. Because it's, no, it's a weird thing. But what's what I like about it is, I mean, first of all, I'm Southern. So it, it probably yeah. comes from like no, the course. background. And yeah. also people start introducing chocolate and bourbon into it. Like then it's yeah. like mm-hmm. a whole different thing. Yeah. But yeah. even like, even like the straight up pecan pie is what I love is that it's like, it's crust. Yep. It's yeah. nuts. It. And then it's just corn syrup goo. Yeah. Filling, just like filling in the middle and then salty, salty nuts so on my top. wife's mm-hmm. mother when she was alive, may she rest in peace, uh, she made the great, my favorite dessert of all time, and it is a pie. It's called Banafi pie. It's a famous, very it, very few people make it, but it's unbelievable. Banafi it's got pie. a flake, not flaky, but kind of thick, gooey, aw- awesome crust mm-hmm. that goes around it. It's toffee 
like all to- like caramel toffee in the center. Ooh, That's the dude. whole pie. Wow. Then banana slices around the outside mm-hmm. and then espresso Stop. kind of a, an espresso cream around the edge of that. It is Dan, would you like a hot apple pie? Yes, dude. Okay. Do you like a cherry pie? Have you ever had the hot apple? Haven't you guys had the uh, apple what are you, pie? Forrest from- Gump here? What is this? <laughs> Jones? <laughs> Jones on Santa Monica? No. They do the apple pie. Oh my God. It's unreal. Do you alamode it or do you yeah, just Yeah, it okay. has to come to alamode. All right, sorry, Dan. Like, I, literally, I, I knew this about this you, but like, like, Jay just tried to make al- alamo- alamode sure. sound like someone's name. You a know, verb. Alan Mode? <laughs> That'd be a cool ass name. <laughs> I thought you meant like Alamo, like, like never, you know, never forget. Never forget the, the, never forget the Alamo. Never forget the Alamo. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't know if you guys know, but like I had finally reached the pinnacle of my career where basically every city I would go to, People someone would bring, would bring me pies. Pie. Yes, I know. We I had, remember we had all did? those pies brought to the in Tulsa. Someone would make the tiny ones. Not in Tulsa. Yeah. Was it in Tulsa? No, we're Bell House. Bell, Bell House. We had a whole thing yes. of mini pies. I think and uh, I ate one, Katie yeah. brought them. Beautiful. Yeah. So right, everywhere right. you went, people loved you or thought you'd lost a loved one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> so, so. Whatever their reason. Or thought you had just moved into the neighborhood. All right. Oh, 2.45. Yeah. 245 <laughs> p.m. They're having sex on the side. Uh, p.m. McClellan was also hit with a misdemeanor charge of possession of synthetic marijuana. This is something I love. Yeah. McClellan was convicted in 2018 on misdemeanor theft charge for stealing cat litter and peppermint tea from a Walmart. That's Aww, got meth written all over it. Civilized. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, right. What a thing to steal. So you heat those up and that makes meth, right? I have no idea. Or pie. Rob, <laughs> Rob th- that, That's the secret recipe for banoffee pie. Actually. That yeah. is. <laughs> Kitty litter. <laughs> Kitty <laughs> litter. Mm-hmm. Synthetic Healthy. marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I don't want to give away the store here. Jeez. On this. Uh, let's, I don't know. Sklar, as you might remember, we're going to get out of here on these two fun questions. How old do you think Sean McClellan is? I know. I don't. Damn, I can't I know. remember. Okay. Rob, remember. how old do you think? Sean McClellan is, but here, here's the thing. So it could either be like the impetuousness of youth, or it could yeah. be like, like I've broken my life. Of sure. this, is the, this is me on my. This is my swan song. This so is Act speak. Three. This, this, this is my it. my recent divorce move. Divorce uh-huh. move. This is uh, this is my something's got to give. <laughs> that's a tough one. I'm going to say just from the sheer like invincibility feel about it. Yeah. I'm going to guess like teens. So like pick, or like tw- pick, early twenties maybe. Pick one. Pick a day. Uh, Pick an A. Pick hate, one. You can't, you can't narrow it off. You can't fence it off. Game. All right. Uh, 22. 22 years old, Randy. I think 26. 26 years old. Jay, you know it's I know. I know. All right. Sean McClellan, and then we will do Amber. Sean McClellan is, is 30 years old. Oh! Oh, oh so, the price was wrong. All right. Now, before we leave. <laughs> He's old enough to know. How old? Yes. See, Sat- his Saturn has returned is Amber Gormley. And I will remind everyone, we are leaving here, but if you're a Patreon member, you're going to get a like a just for you dumb people town personal story from Rob. So join, jump over on the Patreon if you haven't done that already to make sure you get the extra, extra content. Fun. Yeah. All right. So uh, Rob, how old do you think Amber is? I think you're going to say that you're going to reveal Amber's age if you do the no, Patreon. No, that, that's, <laughs> that's, that's cold. Hold that, one that's fact. That's, that's cold. That's what we should do. All right. So Rob, what do you, what do you think? How old is she? Oh, uh, well, okay. So first of all, I want to, in my defense, I think 30 is the new 50. That's right. Thank you. Really when right. it comes to math, so she's, she's right. got to be, she, she's gotta be way younger. It's just my, Okay. My guess. So what do you right? think? So I'm going to go with like 17. 17. 17. Wow. She's only 17. Yeah. I'm going to go older. I think she has a hold on him. Okay. I think, and I can't remember Ooh. how old she is, but I think 43. 43 years She's old. 13 years older than him. Mm-hmm. Which means this All whole right. thing like started this. out with her saying, you don't love me enough. I was going to say, where are you going? Yeah. <laughs> Who are you? Come you, here. You then. don't love me. What's your name? name? Okay. Mm-hmm. Jay, you, you remember, never take Jay? me anywhere. I remember, so I Dan, can't say. Jay, you're good at remembering. I know, I and, I, and I'll tell you my theory about them as well when Dan reveals okay. okay. We will leave you all with this and Jay my theory. theory. Amber Gormley, mm-hmm. male prostitute, <laughs> is, doesn't it feel like it fits? Yeah, totally. Chuck is, Garman. is Fred Garvin. 39 years old. Oh, oh yes. that was right. So here's my thing. I, was right. I think she, she used to babysit him. No, they ran into each other at a bar <laughs> that they shouldn't have even been at, nor should it have been open. She yeah. was like, I think I remember you. Let she me put, was his she teacher. She said, let me put you to bed now. She was his teacher in high school. She and, was 34. And he was 25. He was a 25-year-old senior. It and felt boom. like it was appropriate. And she said, I'll he, talk to you after class five years a, later. Boom. If you're a senior in high school and you can rent a car, 
That's saying you're too old. <laughs> you're too old, Dan. Said, I like can we have can we have lack of class outside today? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, a lot hey, of lack of class look, in dumb people town. That is, I will give these guys credit. As dumb as they are, they were practicing safe. Uh, at least they were outside. They and were outside. Everybody was you. consenting. She was age appropriate, and yeah. so was he. Yeah. So and for some brief moment, they allowed traffic to slow down so that no one would. Get <laughs> she she was getting she was getting vitamin D and actual D. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> had a, <laughs> we gotta walk off on that, Rob. If you like the comedy of Rob Cutner on this show, you take got, a gander at Gander. It's on the Tubi <laughs> channel, uh, and follow him and all the great things that he does. And then pop over to our Patreon, join the Patreon, and you'll hear some cool stories as well. And oh shit, we gotta get back to work. Dum 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 dum. Make a sound, hunger down, it's dumb people town. Scarpins Avenue, a podcast, <clears throat> a podcast network.